enhancing HEI teaching and learning to promote research and innovation. The setting, Ashesi University in the small town of Brickwizu, Ghana. Ashesi University is built on the liberal arts core with heavy emphasis on experiential education. This means that most classes include project work and groups of students will frequently visit the same nearby communities to engage with users and test their solutions. They often communicated poorly, they did not follow through on their projects, the communities got overwhelmed, and after five years of enduring this, the elders of the communities decided to ban students from coming in to conduct research work and projects. About the same time, colleagues at MIT D-Lab and some of us at Ashesi were working on ways of collaboration. We applied and won one of the USAID Accelerating Local Potential Awards, and this was for MIT to accelerate Ashesi's capacity in the development of a values-based incubator in catalyzing the entrepreneurial ecosystem to support the incubatees and to disseminate lean research. I'll turn over to Kendra to tell us about lean research. Great, thanks so much, Gordon. So lean research is an approach to research, monitoring and evaluation in the context of international development and humanitarian work. It was co-founded by colleagues at Tufts University at the Fletcher School and at MIT back in 2014. And through lean research, we emphasize four principles, the four R's we call them, rigor, relevance, respect, and right-sizing. In terms of rigor, we wanna make sure that we are adhering to good standards of practice within the field or discipline. In terms of relevance, we wanna emphasize that we're asking questions that are not only useful for the researchers, but also for the implementing partners, for the participants, for the donors, that the results are accessible, easily understandable, and actionable. In terms of respect, we want to make sure that people find joy and meaning in the research experience rather than seeing it as a burden. We also want to um, make sure that the consent process is easy to understand and that people feel comfortable saying no without fear of negative consequences. We also want participants to feel that their contributions and input are valued. And then finally, in terms of right sizing, we, re we really want to emphasize making sure that we're only asking as many questions, um, protocols, uh, including as many people as we really need to to answer the questions. So with Lean Research, we're seeking to minimize the burden on the participants and create higher quality data. So I'm now going to talk about how we have applied this at Ashesi. Um, we have implemented Lean Research in a variety of ways at Ashesi University through courses, as well as through introductory workshops on Lean Research and a master class. So by August 2022, all Ashesi students will have studied Lean Research and its tenants in, um, in their classes. Uh, we will have also engaged and trained, and trained a number of different groups. Um, faculty and students, practitioners, trainers, um, who are part of the business network through introductory workshops, as well as master class, a master class that we ran. We completed a, a master class and resulted, and we developed a curriculum for that master class. And now we have the opportunity to engage these actors in a community of practice. So I'm gonna hand it back over to Gordon, who's gonna talk about some of the examples. All right, thank you, Kendra. So as Kendra said, we've taught Lean Research to a variety of audience members applied in a variety of settings, such as with students and with our master class, participants have applied it in academic research, market research, and ME. These are areas that were not included in the original application of Lean Research from MIT. With our students, our course evaluations reveal that students appreciate receiving consent because it creates some kind, of, some kind of social contract that makes them want to go back and tell respondents about the results. The team that worked, uh, used it for market research, did a fantastic job in creating a conducive environment by using a local language, streamlining questions with respondents, um, conducting data collection at a convenient time for respondents, and all of this helped them empathize with the users very well. By way of surprise, um, something that we do not expect is that we think that at, on undergraduate campuses like ours, it might be important to provide students with basic skills in research before introducing lean research to them. I'm Gordon Adonja from Ashesi University, and I'm going to be taking the Q&A session with Kendra Leith, I'm the Associate Director for Research at MIT D-Lab. We look forward to seeing you in the Q&A session. Thanks so much.